Hey, hey, welcome back to another day of the Fendic Theater Experience. I'm Blake. And I'm Sydney. And it's story time! All stories have to have a solid beginning, middle, and end, but today we're going to take it one step further. Today's performance target is, we will learn each step of a story structure. So this is our whiteboard with stuff on it. It's like school, but not like school. Shh. Anyway, this is an anchor chart. This anchor chart shows each step of a story structure. And to define each step, we're going to use the story of Disney's Beauty and the Beast. If you would like to listen to the cast recording, click on the link below. Okay, before we get started with all the learning and stuff, I just want to place a huge spoiler alert right here. We're about to reveal the entire plot of Beauty and the Beast. So if you haven't seen Beauty and the Beast, first off, how dare you? And second off, no worries, we're not judging here. You can just press pause and watch the movie if you like. You also don't have to watch the movie, you can just watch the video, that's fine too. No judging here. All right, back to the learning. Step one. Exposition. The exposition is used to introduce the audience to different elements that will be used throughout the story, such as background information, characters, setting, and anything else. A prince and his castle are put under a spell when the prince is ungenerous and ungrateful to a beggar woman slash enchantress. He goes from prince to beast. Belle is considered odd and unusual in her village. Gaston wants to marry Belle because he thinks she's the most beautiful girl in town. Step two. Rising action. The rising action are the events in the story that build up throughout the plot to a specific moment in the story. Our specific moment that the events are leading up to are when Belle and the Beast fall in love. But before they do that. Belle's father, Maurice, gets lost in the woods and ends up prisoner to the beast in his castle. Belle takes her father's place as prisoner in the beast's castle. Belle runs away. Ah, wolves! The beast saves her. They get to know each other. They eat dinner and dance together. When Belle finds that her father's ill, the beast lets her leave the castle to tend to him. When Belle gets back to the village, Gaston demands that she marry him. Ha ha ha. Belle refuses. And Gaston and the villagers go to attack the castle. Gaston attacks the beast. Gaston stabs the beast. Har! Belle comes back to the beast. The beast dies. Sad face. Step three. Climax. The climax is the event that all the events have led up to. This is usually the turning point for the main character's problems to start to get solved. Belle says, I love you. What? Step four. Falling action. The falling action is when the main conflict is getting resolved. The spell gets reversed and the beast transforms into a prince. Huh, what luck. Step five, last one. Resolution. The resolution is what wraps up any loose ends from the conflict. The story ends here. They celebrate and they live happily ever after. How Disney of them. There you have it. Now you have an idea of how most stories are structured. Now that you've seen our anchor chart, We'd love to see yours. Send us a video of, or a picture of your anchor chart. Instructions on how to send in a video are in the link below. It can be any story you like, from your favorite movie, TV show, musical, or book. You could also create your own story. The sky's the limit. Make sure to like us on Facebook and Instagram, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for learning and creating with us. Au revoir. Au revoir.